Welcome to ISU Gen Chem Lab Tutorials. Today's lesson, volumetric flasks. Let's begin. Volumetric flasks, the ideal solution when preparing a liquid solution with a specific final volume. They come in many sizes, ranging all the way from the large 2000 milliliter down to the tiny 10 milliliter. However, for today's lesson, we'll be using the 100 milliliter flask for our demonstrations. Today, we're demonstrating how to dissolve a solid soluble solute in liquid water. First things first, pre-weigh out your solid solute. Having that, you're gonna pour the pre-weighted solid solute down the neck of a clean volumetric flask. Be sure to rinse your weigh boat into the flask to get all the solid solute. Pouring the solid solute first allows us to rinse any solute that's sticking to the neck down into the solution. If you're feeling a little nervous though, don't be. Use a funnel. Insert the funnel into the neck of the volumetric flask, then proceed as usual. Pour your solid solute into the funnel Use DA water to rinse out the weigh boat to ensure you got all the possible solute and then rinse out the funnel into the volumetric flask to ensure that everything is properly mixed in. At this point, you're going to want to add enough of your solvent, in this case water, to fill the volumetric flask about halfway full. Then you'll want to find a stopper. They come in various different sizes. Some, which are too large, but those at the side don't need them. Then, naturally, some that are too small also don't want to use those. However, there will be one that fits perfectly and snugly. That's the one to use. Cap the flask and swirl or even vigorously shake it to make sure that all of the solid solute is dissolved. Your final solution should be clear like the solvent. Then use the DI water squirt bottle to carefully add more water. A pipette, as being demonstrated, should be used near the end. Adding a drop or two of water at a time until the bottom of the liquid's meniscus, that's the little curve, touches the etch mark on the neck when viewed at eye level. You want to be extra careful because if you go too much, there is no going back. You have to start the solution completely over and that entire solution needs to be poured into the waste. Again, we want to make sure that the meniscus at eye level touches the bottom of that line. If looking from above, not eye level, we have an inaccurate reading as in the case of looking below eye level. Then you'll be sure to cap the solution in the volumetric flask and rotate it around 25 to 30 times to make sure that it is completely and thoroughly mixed. Although this is sped up, be sure to do it slowly. Once your experiment is completed, you will pour the solution into the waste container, dispose of the waste, and be sure to wash out all your instruments. Here, we demonstrate pouring some soap into the volumetric flask. Make sure you use a little. A little does go a very long way. Add some water, vigorously shake it to make sure that the soap and water clean everything. And then you can use a brush to get the neck and make sure that the volumetric flask is clean. After pouring out the water, fill it up again and keep repeating until your flask is completely empty. Rinse with DI water. And then finally, take it back to where you obtained it on the shelves for it to finish drying. <laughs> 